from here. That way, behind the big statue of Thor. What else were you going to tell me about war? Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Part of his body's lying over here. Vazia. Break it, not this name. Break it. Some statue. Who built you, you think? I do not know. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? But set that aside. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I 
know she's really powerful, do you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. <gülüyor> but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Sen ne oldu ne yapacaksın? The door's gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there? She must have some way of getting back to the surface when the turtle's standing. Bakalım ne çıkacak. Turn back Aesir. Yes, the gods are welcome here. Valla üç saattir yayınlayayım. Bir kişi geliyor gidiyor. Bir kişi geliyor gidiyor. Bulduk burayı. How's it going Charlie? Is there a witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. What it sounded like in my head anyway. <gülüyor> Geleceğim, geleceğim. Cadı yanına geleceğim. Boyum ağrıdıyor. Aç bakayım tabii. 
Mother, she is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. Now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. <laughs> he claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Did he, did he? Take him to the table. <laughs> hey, Miller. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. <laughs> Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. <laughs> you look well. Freya. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. Bye. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? Ben bu konuda şey meleksin diye, ders meleksin diye. Now. Kız çocuğa bakarak söyledin onu. Mimikleri bile yapmışlar ya orada. Fena fena. Sinirlendi. Kratos sinirlendi. Mimirden artık şey yapmış. We cannot trust her. Because she's a god. Güvenmemeliyiz diye. Vay. I taught you nothing, boy. But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Why did Freya skin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? 
Well, as I recall, it involved uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mimir'in kafasını çıkarttık, kopattık. Bizim parayı önüne getirdik. Kratos torunun e, büyücü ve tanrı olduğunu şahit oldu. Speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. That horn. Huh? Burun ne olduğunu öğrendik. Gel hadi oğlum. Ipucuk ipleme. Good. Now put my lips to the horn. Savaşacağız falan zannediyorum. Why is he doing that? Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world suffering absolutely abhors the fat jobber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But. Doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your knife. <laughs> Members me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. <laughs> Wait, look! The water has dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I don't think we should disturb Yoman Gandar without some reason. Come on. 
So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. You were taken from I'll this finish room too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Ha! Good. The special chisel is ahead past this game. Here we go. Go! 
her spirit. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out, look if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOMP, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Hello. Fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Do we fight them? Oh! Yes, a very, very giant chisel. That big chisel on the giant's ring looks promising. Didn't seem to do anything. Brother, it looks like that crystal's brimming again.
Yeah. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Looks interesting. It's magically locked. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Crystals up ahead. Are we attacking? Yeah, yeah. Kınamam lazım ya benim. Yoksa kötü olur. And I'll find light for you. Here we go. Hey, Bastard. Come on, come on.
That takes care of that. Hardened World Tree Sap. That's handy. Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw. But how do we get it down? Oh! <laughs> 